Al Jazeera reports that Algeria's cabinet has adopted an order to lift a 19-year-old state of emergency in a concession designed to avoid the tide of uprising sweeping the Arab world. But protesters said the measure did not go far enough. The official Algerie press service reported this past week that a draft law approved by the cabinet would repeal the emergency law as soon as it is published in the government's official journal. Ending the emergency powers was one of the demands voiced by opposition groups, which have been staging weekly protests in the Algerian capital that sought to emulate uprisings in Egypt and neighboring Tunisia. Mustafa Bouachachi, the chairman of the Algerian Human Rights League and one of the organizers of the protests, told Reuters, quote, The lifting of the state of emergency is still positive, but it's not enough. We need a real opening up for political, media and social activities so that the people can experience democracy for themselves. The emergency measures, long lambasted by international human rights groups, have barred peaceful protests, limited constitutionally granted political freedoms, and allowed for what many described as arbitrary detentions. President Abdulaziz Bouteflika, who is 73, is likely to remain under pressure, both from protesters and from inside the ruling establishment, to deliver more change and to explain to the public what he plans to do. The decision will have few practical implications. New rules were also adopted which will allow the military to continue involving itself in domestic security, as it had done under the emergency powers. The emergency rules banned protest marches in the capital, but Bouteflika said earlier this month this restriction would remain in force indefinitely. The government also approved a package of measures aimed at reducing unemployment, which is one of the biggest grievances of ordinary people in Algeria.